Hey everybody, Radamon here. Thanks for tuning in to Mount and Blade 2 Bannerlord, a Let's Play tutorial series. So, last episode we left off embroiled in this war against Batania and Kuzate. Uh, two things. One, the territory that I inherited, Poros and Onika Castle, is a result of my vassal dying. Uh, a bunch of you in the YouTube comments mentioned this. I don't know why it didn't occur to me, but thank you. And two, and more importantly, uh, I have, well, I'm going to disband my army, and I'll explain why. So I was reminded in YouTube comments by Haraya, she mentioned, or he, I'm not sure your pronoun, um, that, do you recall the time when you used to steal castles and then pay money for peace treaties? Yeah, I remember that time. Yeah, so... The point is, I can end these wars going behind my vassal's backs by just finding a Kuzadi vassal. Oh, wow. Uh, find a Kuzadi vassal and, well, pay for it out of pocket. And that's kind of fine. So if you take a look at... Um, I can pay 300 Huber today, which is nothing, to end this stupid war with Kuzate so I can focus on Batania. That sounds wonderful to me. It sounds like... No money at all, because I make, you know, many, 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 many times that. So now what I'm doing is I'm riding... It looks like Irenix, or whatever their names are, uh, is in Makeb. Oh, they just left Makeb? They were in there a second ago. Let's see if I can't find a notable... Oh, here we go. Monchuk. Oh, Monchuk's in here. Perfect. Perfect person to decide to end war. I hear you took Lavinia Castle. Okay. Uh, our realms should make peace. They'll do it for free? Okay. I don't even have to pay for it. And that was leader to leader, so... I don't know. That's pretty legitimate, I'd say. Okay. Well, next up... Looking back to the west here. It's funny that I just like randomly have... Oh, here we go. So, Charis just rebelled against... Uh... Incurian. Interesting. I would like to own Charis. So, yeah. Uh, I'm fine with that rebellion. And then Montos just got uh, besieged. Okay. So Montos is here near Legeta. So the idea here is as soon as I settle peace, I want to try to add as many vassals as I can. Unfortunately, I didn't do my homework ahead of time, and my entire vassal list is, well, uh, not updated. Yep, not updated. So I'm going to have to go through the list with you all, if y'all don't mind, and try to find some vassals worthy of adding or really any of them and then what I could do is gift them all of the holdings that I currently have and turn my attention to Valandia so that I can own Valandian territory and field Valandian armies far far more easily than what I've been doing previously having to rip through their territory and recruit. It's been so annoying. All right, Borsha of the Lake Rats. Hello, Borsha. All right, so I could pay some money, but, um, well, all right, I'll be honest. I think Batania thinks they're winning. So if we go to Batania, uh, there's a whole lot of tribute that they'd like to, you know, have me pay. Which I think is the reason why forming peace is so expensive. Ah, because they're trying to take Mechalovia Castle. Okay, that's fine. That's fine because, well, I'll be honest, they're going to lose. So one... Wow, I don't have a lot of vassals that have armies. I have a lot of fatigued armies here. 
So let's say I let them keep um, Epicatria. Okay, they're not hiring themselves out. I was hoping maybe I could add a little army, but... Okay, never mind. Our realm should make peace. Oh, you're even asking for less. Ah, uh, sure. I'll do it. That frees up a ton of my vassals. And then... I get to keep Mechalovea Castle. I sieged so much more than they did, to be fair. I got Uthlame, I got Sianion, I got Marnath, I got uh, uh, Abcomer. No, I had Abcomer. But I, I got a ton of stuff. So, uh, we're at peace with... Well, all but... Uh, all but the Southern Empire. Uh, the Southern Empire is a bit of a joke. They're basically dying and they don't know it. Uh, and then, of course, we have the Rebels. But I don't actually want to solve that rebellion... Um, maybe I, maybe I should. All right, let me go solve that rebellion. So there's a bit of rebels down here at Charis that uh, rebelled against Incurian. If I take a look at my, uh, my clan list. So we've got Incurian, who has nothing. Uh, let me give him some stuff. So, Incurian, you're going to get Poros and Onika Castle, I think. So, let me go do that. If I go to my holdings, Poros. Oh, no, this is not the right place to do it. Um, Where is the right place to do it? Gift. Okay, here it is. Uh, Poros, Gift. Uh, what is your clan name? There. Done. And a Nika Castle. Oh, it was at the top here. Of course, I screwed that up. Gift to him as well. Okay, so that's two territories taken off my hands. Now let's go, honestly, I, all I need to do is go to the clans. So there's two other clans, which is Branock and Galden that don't really own anything. Or they own one thing, but I'd rather have them own multiples. So, um, of my remaining holdings, Rotan Herdigia Castle would be good to gift. Herdigia Castle does make me a whole lot of money, but that's okay. I'll give it to Branock. Uh, what is Branock's clan name? It's uh, Fen Morkar. And then Rote is Golden. Done. So now I could take them off of my currently owned lists. I am left with, as far as my, I think I'm left with just three. Yep. Uh, so I'm left with Zianica, Legata, and Orticia. Zianica and Legata and Orticia. Let's see. Um, Zianica and Orticia are the most profitable. Legata is not. So I wouldn't mind gifting out Legata. Uh, what I think I want to do, though, before I do that, is find some clans that need some people. Okay, I don't think I'm talking to that guy because he's too far away. What I want to do is I want to try to find some potential vassals to recruit to give them, you know, the the town. Uh, I already talked to you. Ospir. Always, always Ospir. Uh, that's not too far out of my way. I'll leave that on the hotkey here. Uh, you already have territory, so forget that. Pethros. You are seen very close to me. Let's go to the Pethroses. And I'm looking for Patir. Okay. He is a clan tier 6, so he might be pricey. Aranix. 
was seen at McKeb. That's, uh, I was just there, but I am not close to there anymore. And then, if I go through the clans here, let's see. Charis's rebels are Valandian, I guess. I'm just now trying to search. Wow, his daughter or whatever she was looked a lot like Sarah Lynn. Jesus, I got a twin out there, huh? Oh uh, yeah, okay. No Valandians are freed. Ragnvad is landless. Leader. Cloverving is totally dead. Their entire line, yikes. I think with the update. Okay, Tovir. At Mechalovia Castle? Wait, wait, wait a second. That is very, very close to me. Let me double back. Also, I could get rid of, um... Radagast. Just keep recruiting for yourself. Yeah, there's a bunch of these, uh... Northern Empire people. Alright, let me get the latest information about Tovir, or whatever his name was. You are seen just up this way. Oh, don't tell me you're in Lex Army. Nope, you're seen at Omor. Oh no, you could be in Lex Army. Yeah, you are. Oh, that's a bummer. Well, it faded. Uh, no. Okay. Never mind. That's a... I mean, he would be a great, great person to recruit. Um, because he doesn't have anyone. He'd be very easy and probably inexpensive. I'll add him to the favorites list, but, uh... Right now, he's conscripted in an army, and that won't work. Uh, Kuzate. I feel like Kuzate's family lists here are very small. They've lost a lot of people, but they don't have anyone currently that is um, ready to go. Excuse me for all the clicking. I'm clicking a whole double clicking out of my haste here. Uh, you no, know, you're a leader. That's kind of funny because he's, um, he's also happens to be, uh, only clan tier four, but he's a leader. I don't know. Don't ask me. Leonian. Uh, yeah, you're of my clan. I, I recruited a whole lot of ex-empire here. For being a empire hater, it's kind of funny. Uh, Oros. At Vostrum. Okay, well, Vostrum isn't close to me that close. Uh, Patir is probably still the closest. Uh, but let's... Still check this list. Flanties is Tassinar. You are my guy, too. You're my guy, too. Wow, I have so many ex-empire. Well, what about Patanians? Whole bunch of ones that already own... Oh, uh, well, you're, uh, you're mine, you're mine, you're mine. Okay, nope. Uh, X Azerai, you own one. One. Uh, that... Oh, so that was Kareth, um, who was with me and died. And then I gained his territory. Alright, so just you, Adwan, and you were near... Uh, yeah, you're nowhere close. No surprise there. Alright, I'm gonna take those off the list. And then, uh, I'm almost done. We have... Oh, yeah, I'm done, actually. So, the closest was Patir in the Neveryansk, or whatever it's called, castle. Now that Omor didn't pan out. Here is a... Oh, this is kind of funny. Here is a, um, a random rebel caravan from the rebels of Charis, who just happened to be way up here in the middle of nowhere with me. How, look at that. We have Northern Empire taking Cranorog Castle from Batanians. Uh, works for me. 
weaken Batanian, and it's not like Northern Empire is ever going to be strong enough to defend against me, so... Just works to my benefit. And nobody likes looters, so... It's been a while since I've flexed on looters. I might as well, right? Yeah. Oh, wrong weapon. Oh, well. So not a one breathing. Yep, don't leave them breathing. Just kill them all. One thing I do need more practice on is the two-handed on horseback because I am legitimately bad at this. Ow. Alright, I'm just getting beat up here, so I'm just gonna have this as a leveling up opportunity for the people that I brought to combat. Sort of. I mean, I can't truly sit out because... I just can't help myself. Yeah, are you trying to loot? That's not going to work. Well, no one even got wounded or killed because it's only looters. I don't want them as prisoners. I will take their tattered clothing. I almost feel like I'm the bad guy in that instance. But we'll ignore that instinct. So, Patir. You were near Glintor, which is actually very, very close to me. But that was two days ago, so let me check in with the town. Get the latest rumors. You were near Callius Castle. Okay, so you and uh, Ospier are roughly in the same area, and that is who I'm going to try to talk to. What about you, Ira? Oh, God. That is one list. Uh, you are Patir's daughter? Cool. Or or wife? I, I, I think daughter. I didn't read the whole bio. I mean, I could have. And Cervic, I could also possibly recruit you even though you have a lot of territory because I have a lot of money. So let's see. Uh, I am charming. Does it matter? Oh, it does. Okay, that was working. And oh my goodness, <clears throat> you want everything I own, and everything I own is just a fifth of what, okay, forget it. That's one of the reasons why I don't tend to talk to people who are landed. Their prices are ridiculous. So here's the guy I wanted to talk to. He uh, he rather doesn't like me. And as a result, my success chances are basically nil. But I will try my best. Oh, here we go. Yeah. And a critical fail at 7%, even though the success was 85. Okay. I guess, Patir, uh, I will have to kill you on the battlefield. So, what about Ospir? I've been after Ospir for so long. It's kind of ridiculous.
mostly just because um, I found him convenient. He was always, you know, near me, but he always turns me down. What about you, uh, Ekerind? Ekerind, you are, yeah, you're landed, so your price is probably absurd. Just like the last guy. What about you, Varmund? Again, Cervix. In Cervix clan, so probably prohibitively expensive. Now, another thing I really wanted to do is to have Serilyn decked in Vlandian best. Uh, do I need anyone with white mill over tabard? Oh, yeah, cheese does. Even though it's a downgrade. Um, he's like, dude, dude, why? Okay, why is because I'll give you a better helmet. How's that sound, cheese? I can just picture Cheese being like, dude, you just made my armor worse in the name of fashion. Uh, yes. Yes, I did. Yes. Yes, I did. Okay, so there I saw Ospier for a brief moment over here. And I lost him. But there's really nowhere to go when you're near Ostakin. It's kind of a dead end. And there happens to be a whole bunch of looters. Uh, so, let's... Oh, come on, go away. Go away, you stupid trotter. Hello, looters. They tried to join me, but... Um, looters, when upgraded... Hey, uh, looters when upgraded turn into Imperials, uh, so they don't help me any. I do believe that Sea Raiders, I think, turn into Vlandians, or maybe Mountain Raiders. I forget which one it is. 438. I, I don't even think I was riding that hard. This must have got him in the head. Yep, just keep killing them. Soak up that experience, guys. No mercy. Well, I don't know. 15 got to go free, so I guess that's kind of merciful. And if you're wondering why I'm hitting groups of looters, uh, it's good to level up my vassals, honestly. If you take a look, Damien leveled up in riding. He is a party leader, so prisoners in your party, 50% less likely to escape, or a clan leader, you are not a clan leader, uh, uh, or a governor. So I'll go with mounted patrols, because the other one doesn't provide any benefit for Damien. And Vreedog with riding as well. Uh, Vreedog is not a party leader, but uh, I'm going to go Sagittarius, because I do have all of my guys on mounted patrols. All right, Ospir could not, there he is. I was going to say, he could not have gone far. Another thing that I should have been doing, and I'm sure a lot of you are like, why aren't you doing that? Is, I could have been recruiting uh, just random villagers everywhere I've gone, because I'm in Valandian territory. So, these are my people, and the army that I should be adding. So we have Cervic over here, we also have Lukand. Are you a clan leader? Nope, you are Ospir's brother or something. Oh, come on now. Seriously? I finally get to Ospir and he rolls into an army. You know, in bird culture. Call that a dick move. Well, there is not to be done about that. So all of my, not all of my vassals, I still need more white mail over tabards. Why are they selling imperial armor here? 
Uh, and then we're going with heavy mail mittens as well. And we have been going with uh, male cavalier boots. Which I don't see here, but that's fine. Now, I don't want to spend all my money on, well, shopping. Uh, but I will... I don't think I'm going to need the bajillions of money I have right now. Um, on... Adding vassals? I, at least I hope they don't cost me half a mil. That would be absurd. So I don't really, I don't rightly know who I'm talking to, going to talk to anymore. Uh, everybody I've talked to has turned me down or rolled into an army or something. I could try to track down um, some of the guys that were in armies to see if they've left. But I wouldn't hold my breath. Another thing that I need to do is to add another companion to my crew. All right, Richard the Stag. Those are not heavy mail mittens. So I have the correct armor here for Raptor Talon. Do I have the boots anywhere? Nope. Uh, looks like Sachanis is taken back. Uh, I should go help. Taken back, or trying to take back Charis. Morkin. There's two Morkins. Did that just lead to the same one? Oh, you named two of your sons Morkin? Okay. Sure. I guess. This store has the heavy mail mittens. So, I guess Richard the Stag. I'll give them to you. What about the boots? Yes, they have two pairs of the boots. And there we are. Slowly, slowly. And then I'll have to pick out, once I have more money, uh, the helmets in the uh, Spalders, sp or whatever they're called. All right, excuse me, you're not Aldrich's party. What the hell? Who the hell is Aldrich? I don't know who you are. You're a friend of Ragnvad. Interesting. Uh, Charis got taken by Sichanis. I didn't even have to do that. Let's chase this dude. I have not really had a lot of um, interactions with rebels. He's faster than me, though. So, it does interest me about, I guess, they're what, like, People that claim themselves to be noble, like I did at one point. Either way, it's pretty cool. I mean, I'm not... I don't think it's cool that they're, like, trying to liberate themselves from my, you know, army or whatever, but... It is a cool feature. Uh, so, Taurus got taken... And that is no longer of really my concern. I'm going to catch you. Maybe. Or not.
Uh, I can make peace with you? Yeah, no. Surrender or die. So everyone give him hell. Yep, everyone give him hell. You dang rebels. Now, they are Valandian, so any prisoners I take, I should be able to recruit. And they have a pretty good amount of Lancers here. Unfortunately, they are against me, and, well, that's not a healthy position to take. I'm definitely the most deadly Valandian there ever lived, so... Oh, that was one of my own vassals. Weird, it seemed to be missing a nameplate. Okay, the nameplates here are phasing in and out. I think you probably saw that. Which makes it really challenging to figure friend from foe when my friends aren't indicated clearly. I guess I could look for the uh, sort of white blue crest. Or just not do anything because my troops sort of did it for me. You're my prisoner, Aldrich. I have no idea who you are. Uh, so we got a bunch of sea raiders and a whole bunch of prisoners, all Valandian. So that was a very good reason to chase them. Um, needless to say, that is a whole lot of potential recruits that I don't exactly have to pay for. And got a lot of people that are ready to uh, get promoted and all. All right, if I go to my party screen, these sea raiders become Sturgeons, I guess. I'm going to give them out to my um, my companions anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Another thing that I needed to do, and don't worry, I haven't forgotten, is recruit uh, more companions. Because, of course, I had, tragically, a companion die, and it left a hole for me to have a party leader. I have two of the three parties that I'm due. Um, so I'm going to ride to Oxhall after filling up Damien's party here. I really wish I could... Okay, yep, here we go. Um... I am giving home a whole bunch of Valandians. That point was not lost on me. What about Belgir? I think he's related to Ospir, if I remember. Not just because it rhymes, but... I do vaguely remember that. Let me check. Belgir. No, I was wrong. Uh, what about Ospir? Because he rolled into an army. He actually didn't turn me down. He was last seen near Valanby. Maybe the army has disbanded by now. Probably not. I could also check Patir. Same deal. Who owns Charis? Oh man, it's not even... Not even a chance it can go to me. Fine. Uh, Vipon, because the majority wills it. Now, once I give away maybe one more town, um, you'll start to see my name come back up of the possibilities for owning territory. Okay, I do see a giant party, so yeah, they're in party. What about Petir? Seen at Glintor, that could be a lead. Probably not, because it's probably... Is Valandian and Batania? Valandian and Batania at war? 
N no. Well, then I rightly don't know what's up. They're just patrolling their terrain, I guess. Landian peasants become recruits eventually. Wow. Really scraping the bottom of the, bottom of the barrel here, guys. So Arwa is my twin, or at least someone I said that looked quite like me. I kind of want to introduce myself out of curiosity, and I'll do that in just a second. I think I've bought up all of the sort of Valandian... Okay, here's Heavy Mail Mittens, at least. I've purchased so many of the sets of armor that I am struggling to fulfill the sort of uniform I've set forth. Here's the boots, though. So, oh, found them. All right, Raptor Talon, you're pretty squared away. Uh, so what do I have left? Let me see. Cheese is good. M. Actually, we're good. I am the only one in... Um, obviously not the uniform. Partially because it was the best stuff available to me. Also, it looks very, very cool. I look pretty amazing, if I do say so myself. So, if I do see better armor at some point, I will uh, investigate. Alright, Arwa, you are my twin. Can I say hi? Nah, we're not twins. You just looked it. Your teeny little icon. Alright, bye-bye. Okay, I'm going to check in at Carbanth to make sure I have the latest information about where Patir is. And also, possibly just to snoop about who's around where I am uh, as possible recruits. So here's the Highland, uh, the Highland Noble Armor, which I think by all rights is probably better. Now, I'm in head-to-toe Highland Noble and Warlord stuff here. Um, that's my current gear set. So this is what su I'm supposed to look as a Highland Noble, but... Um, that armor is ridiculously expensive for its cost. But here's the, like, bracers and the boots. Um, the pauldrons might be good as part of the uniform. Yeah, I kind of like that look. I don't know what helmets I'm going to do for them. I could do... Uh, I don't know. I don't like the kettle helmets. That I could tell you. I could do rough scale. I don't like the color on that either. I'll figure one out, but the 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 pauldrons look nice. So I can go with those as the uniform. It's going to be tough for me to source pauldrons or spalders, whatever they call them, uh, for everybody. And then the latest on Patir. Are you? Okay, you're up here now. Glad I got the latest news. So he's bouncing around the map here. There he is. Uh, that scowl. Oh wait, no, he's the one that already turned me down. I'm being stupid. I was like, yes, that scowl looks familiar. Oh right, you're the guy that said no. All right. Uh, well, my bad. Arionix, you're at McKeb. Fine, I guess, I guess I have to kind of, he's probably, he's almost certainly a prisoner. Um, is Kuzate and Valandia at war with one another? They're not. Okay, maybe you aren't a prisoner. But you hate my guts. Tovir, how about I track you down again? 
at Vladov Castle. Uh, you're definitely in an army because that's at a siege. Pethros, you hate me. I've already talked to you a few times, like, and that hasn't worked out. You. You, you, you. This guy right here, he's, he's, he would be very good to recruit because he's got a huge family. So that would be a lot of recruits for free. Who the heck? Oh, this is the, uh, the empire that I'm against. Help Lindorn. Here I'm helping, uh, Batanians defend against an invader. A little confusing, for sure, but enemy of my enemy is sometimes my friend. Sometimes it's just a Mexican standoff, three-way, murder everybody kind of situation. It does depend. But in this scenario, happily, I murder some enemies of my faction. You can keep that shield up. That's fine. You'll never be able to swing on me, though. That's a very pretty shield you've got there. Be a shame if you dropped it. Oh, where are you going? To the afterlife. Jeez. Oh, you're a vassal. Oh, no, you're just a gulam. Look very fancy gear you got there. You'll not eat anything, trust me. Yep. Nothing eaten today. Relationship with that guy went up. Oh, good. One, two, punch, and three. Whoa, you're still up? I'm actually impressed. But you're dead now. All right. Well, we only had one wounded. I don't think I need to check myself for death. Because... Uh, you are my prisoner. And give me all those Batanian... Yeah, all those Batanian troops. And all your prisoners. Because all those Batanian troops can immediately go to my good brother, Trustin. One, two, three, ten. Oh, he is over capacity. Uh, do you have Valandians to get back to me? You do. One, two, three, four. You're full up. Good. And if I take a look at the party screen, Damien can keep two more, but he's basically full. Okay. The last thing I wanted to try to do is talk to the guy with a lot of kids. I guess if I'm trying to make him my vassal, I should probably learn his name. What about you, Mangus? You are Cal- okay, yeah, you're not joining me. Bistain. Again, Colharn's not joinable. No, the dude escaped. That was quick. Maximum. Krotor, okay, nope. And then who else was here? There was Faea or whatever. She is, okay, nope. Not them either. Whole bunch of no's, whole bunch of no's. So the latest 
skinny on what was it? This dude, Oros. I haven't I I haven't seen where he is in kind of a while, so he could be in one of these armies too. That is a non-zero possibility. And of course, uh, they started raiding as soon as I got here, so I can't get newest information. Okay, here we go. Now I can get information. Are you imprisoned? No, that's a village. You're not imprisoned. All right, let's just keep riding. Carfid. And Aldric, the Charis rebel, just escaped from captivity. I don't know what he's going back to. My settlement has been attacked by the Southern Empire. Uh, I mean, okay, sure, whatever. I'm just going to ignore that because, honestly, that's just a big old joke. But they're near Legata. If I cared, I don't. I really, really don't. It's going to cause some instability with Legata, I'm sure of it, because villages being raided causes instability. I mean, that makes sense, but uh, I can't teleport over there, and he's going to be done raiding by the time I get there. So it's sort of these one of these scenarios where it's like, oh, okay, thanks for the update, but nothing I can do about that. Temian? Nope. Now I'm looking for Oros. Declare war on Azurai. Sure. You guys really want a war with Azurai. You know I'm not done recruiting. I haven't added anyone. Vashorki, you bloodlusted Vashorki. But whatever. I, I'm not going to vote against them. Okay, so he was last seen here. But he clearly has moved on. Is this you? No, Raka something. Well, what is what is your name? Rada. Oh, I come on. I screw up someone's dude that's named Rada. That's embarrassing. Oh no, that's the raid. Who's the army? It's Vilder. Okay. Okay, so here I am. <sighs> Let's see what we could do. I can sell off some garbage. And they mostly have garbage armor in here. Uh, done. We'll go to the tavern district. Now, I haven't really been checking for additional companions, mostly because I'm just still mourning the loss. Uh, but there is a whole lot of people to be ransomed here. And then, Oros, you keep eluding me. You're near Varvanovapol? Okay. Oh god, you're in an army. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. Well, Varvanovapol just got successfully defended. Good job, you guys. Taking a look at your armor. This armor here is pretty good armor for um, arms and legs, but not so much body. I just wanted to, to fashionista it. No, there's not really anything here that interests me. They do have the stat bodkins. You know what? I'm going to buy extra stat bodkins because I'm probably... And I'll buy this very pricey, fullered, long war sword. 
Uh, that that actually looks spicy enough to give out to one of my own. There we go. And my new companion's gonna inherit the rusty one. Uh, we also don't all have the same shields yet. So I need to be looking for the Highland War. I don't know what kind of um, bow skills that a companion might have, so I'm not going to buy bows just yet. That would be jumping the gun. All right, let's pay pay the man. We do have some options here for people to recruit. Honestly, all of them, ton of them. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my I'm going to do my homework off screen because I'm going to wrap this episode up. Clearly, I'm not going to be able to talk to uh, Oros. He's in one of these armies here. Well, I'll double check, but... Uh... No, no Oros there. Maybe I'm wrong. Wait, it's no Oros there? Where is Oros? Oh, is he in the dungeon? Oh, I think he's in the dungeon. No, I don't see anyone in the dungeon either. I'm holding left alt to highlight all. Where is this dude? Uh, let me go to the king, king, uh, the the lord's hall. Maybe he's in here and it just didn't. He wasn't represented. Nope. He's a ghost. He's a ghost. Cuz I don't I didn't see him in any of the um Huh, I really don't know. He wasn't in one of these? All right, let me wait a second for them to pile into the castle. And here is all the people that piled in. Yeah, no, I don't see an Oros. Plus, Oros is Batanian. I don't even see any Batanians. Uh, well, I really don't know. I think it's wrong. I think what's happening is he was a prisoner and he escaped and it hasn't updated or something because Oros of the Batanians was taken prisoner by Abagai of the Kuzates. Uh, is there an Abagai here? I guess I could have read that. Yeah. Yes, there is an Abba guy. Uh, so if I go to the keep, talk to Abba guy, have a question. I can't even talk to anything about you. Okay, you don't have a prisoner to release. So if you don't have a prisoner to release, uh. They are, yes, here's Oros in a dungeon. Uh, who owns Varvanopol then? And I know this episode's going long. Varvanopol is owned by Manchuk. Okay, so if I wanted to free you, I would have to talk to Manchuk. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be doing that. Sorry, Oros. As important as it was for me to talk to you. So next episode, I'm... Even though I'm currently at war with Azurai, uh, I'm going to continue to try to recruit vassals, as I think it's actually ultimately more important. And I'm going to do my homework to try to find the right companion to add that would be a good party leader. If you have any feedback for me, let me know in the comments below. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you next episode. Farewell, everybody.